Welcome back to Radical and Relevant. I'm Matthew Kelly. Each day, we're reflecting on the gospel of the day to discover the, the genius of the gospel, the genius of the life and teachings of Jesus, and to, to find a, a way to anchor our day in and with the gospel. Uh, today's reading is about a storm, and uh, we all experience storms in our lives, and uh, we don't know when the next storm is coming, but we do know a next storm is coming. And, and so when the storm comes, it's too late to prepare, you know, and, and the way uh, strong trees weather any storm is by sinking deep roots. And one of the deep roots you're sinking into your life is to, is to reflect on the gospel each day. That's a deep root of wisdom to, to sink into your life. And a, a tree with strong roots can weather any storm. It's too late to start sinking the roots when the storm comes. And so let's be mindful of that and continue to sink these deep spiritual roots into our lives. Today's reading is from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. And when Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, and the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid, O men of little faith? Then he rose, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even the winds and sea obey him? What jumps out at you? Maybe, maybe you're experiencing a storm right now in your life. If that's the case, turn to God. Turn to Jesus. Ask him to save you from that storm. Ask him to calm that storm in your life. What jumps out at me is this question that's at the end of the reading. What sort of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? It's an interesting question, right? Because you can't say, well, he was no man at all uh, because he was God. You can't say that because he was fully man and fully God. And even those closest to him, you can see that they're grappling with this. You know, on one hand, he is telling them outright, like, I am. And then on the other hand, they're trying to work out what kind of man he is because they see he's a man. They see him living as a man among them. And so you can imagine the confusion. But the two words that really jump out at me is great calm. Such a need for that in our lives. What do you need to do today to create a great calm in your soul? Have an amazing day. Remember, be bold, be Catholic.